The water crisis in the Gaza Strip affects every one of the coastal enclaves' 2 million inhabitants. Many people in Gaza must resort to buying their drinking water from private suppliers as municipal tap water often does not work because of long power outages and is usually too salty to drink even when it does. President Sebastian Pinera has announced a state of emergency and deployed troops to the two southern regions where clashes have broken out between Mapuche indigenous people and security forces. The Mapuches are demanding the restoration of their ancestral lands and self-determination. The International Monetary Fund did not mince words in its latest outlook for the global economy released on Tuesday, warning that the threats to the economic recovery from last year's COVID-19 disruptions are growing, along with a dangerous divergence between richer and poorer countries. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi on Tuesday reaffirmed Pakistan's commitment to the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia and the concept of common, comprehensive, cooperative and sustainable security in the continent. The group of 20, G20, has agreed to work together to avoid a humanitarian disaster in Afghanistan, even if it means having to coordinate efforts with the Taliban. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi said after hosting an emergency summit.